Welcome everyone to the Hurley Investments Trade Finds and Adjustments for Tuesday, the 22nd of October, 2019. My name is Kevin Hurley. I'll be with you here tonight and we're going to make this short and sweet. Reason why is because the World Series is on. So let's not take up too much time. I want to throw in some collar trades here tonight, but I know most people are looking for an advisory that's not going to take up that much of their money. And when you're not going to take up that much of your money, you, you're obviously not looking to collar trade. So 13 of you are here today. I'm going to go with the, with the flyer and I'm going to go with a everyday winner will be my best example of what we're going to do. But my everyday winner comes from an article I just saw about a half hour ago that kind of makes my answer for me or tells me what I'm looking for when it comes to what I would want to do by way of a trade. Give it a second to get it on in here. Sort by descending. I probably need to get some of these off my computer. Here we go. I want to go with the one that has the best earnings per share beat. I want to go with the one that most likely gives the second best gain after an earnings. I want to go with common sense that says, hey, this is the quarter and their guidance that really matter. And most importantly, I want to go with the one that's given us a gift today for really no apparent reason. If I was to take a quick look at a chart, I'm going to bring up Visa. I do have to take into consideration that these guys, for all intents and purposes, lowered their guidance for this quarter. Instead of 6.80 billion, they lowered it down to 6.05. So they lowered it $30 million. But today, a technical day. Couldn't get over their 50 day. Dropped right down to the support level at 170. Big money oversold or pretty close to it. If I take a quick peek after hours, as I just did, it looked like it was still down a still down a penny let me get to my watch lists visa down at the bottom down two pennies but still above 170 at 170.84 for me this is a no-brainer if i was going to look at a trade and one that I would feel confident in putting on today that has a 96% chance of beating their earnings and raising by a dollar, usually will have some pretty good follow through afterwards. It's going to be Visa. And it really comes down to. Visa reports earnings on Thursday after the bell. If there's any good indication, there's a chance it'll beat expectations. 
96 percent of the time and 89 percent of the time for its sales um it has had a pretty good gain this year but recent weakness is leading some analysts to lower their estimates ahead of earnings so bank of america said don't expect fireworks um it lowered its expectations again by 30 million dollars 6.05 down from 6.08 Still remains a buy rating. Its views is its fundamental sentiment is positive. Bernstein raised its expectations, citing credit card volume purchase growth as a catalyst. If you remember, consumer credit was up like 20, 25% last time we did a check on it. So obviously, there's some pretty good growth in visa more importantly will be their full year guidance for 2020 if they can break into china uh, it should be amazing they should be doing very very well now today they did take a hit and actually this uh this article came out on the 19th so when they said this they were at 177.25 they're now down at 170.84 I see it as a gift that's been offered or given to you. It also fits my portfolio nicely. Just had to take another another uh, $1,000 out. No, I'm not buying or needing some money for some ski passes for the kids. Okay, maybe I am. But I would be looking to double up on my position and for seven dollars and twenty cents i even go up to 25 cents i would be looking to create a order for visa ahead of their earnings i would be doing a january 21 200 leap long call this is the order i would be looking for that i feel i could make some great money right out of the gates on visa and i could do it as early as well in all reality as early as tomorrow morning something that i could be prepared for that i could get out of it with maybe even a 10 percent return if it just got back up to the one uh, 70, 177.25 that is at just a couple days ago. Break even on it is pretty darn close. I was going to say break even should be at, well, how much is it going to cost me? Let's take a quick peek one more time. 725. So we're looking at a break even at current price. Uh, 170.84 plus $7.25. A break even at 78.09, which I'm pretty sure. Why the heck can I see that on my chart? Huh probably just missing it right in front of my face. But this is what I would be doing and in instigating first thing tomorrow. And really no questions asked. It's a great play with unlimited or infinite upside opportunity. And in all honesty, if anyone thinks that uh, they can't get up to 200 the next year and a bit. I would question what you're looking at or what you're seeing. So again, first trade, no questions asked, right outside of the, the gun here. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put a little bit of this that we just read about in here. It's also my number one trade would be a come on guys 
Sorry, I don't have this as prepared as I thought I would. I'd be doing a leap. Long call for a January 21 strike price. 200 for a seven dollar and 25 cent limit order no two ways about it it's an easy trade i'm doing nothing more than following a little bit on on the trend following the the historical run that i've seen on on disney and really, it, it's for me, it's a piece of cake. Now, if you want to be a little more daring, that is not the one that I thought it was going to be. Try that one more time. Sorry, guys. I'm just not doing a good job with the computer today. Might be because I'm looking at a pretty good uh, drive home over the next couple days, and I'm already tired, and I haven't even started yet. <laughs> All righty. Second trade, one that was placed today that I feel you could still get in tomorrow. It's cheaper. You could do a couple contracts and it comes back to bite you. If I was looking at a flyer and a second trade that I could do, I would be going out to something not too far out, probably a June. And I'd be going out of the money. I've chosen 135 because that's its major first support level that you just should probably, I don't know, it doesn't seem like it's going to get much higher than that. But they're relatively dirt cheap right now. For $3.40, 350 even, you could do two contracts on a Baidu leap long call for. $700. I like it. I like it because there's a, it's not expected. Uh, I like it because it has a lot of time. I like it because if I'm wrong, all I have to do is add a put and make $3 up. $3.50, excuse me, and it's paid for. I like it because it might be able to dollar cost average for a dollar, $300. I could average against two contracts and have five contracts for the next earnings. I like it because it gives me two more earnings after this one for it to move. And I do think it's relatively dirt cheap. This is the second trade that's my flyer. And again, it's nothing more than me thinking, you know what? I've got some time. We have earnings coming up. Buy you a leap long call, $3.50. No questions asked. Only really looking for an earnings they had last time. And it should get up to about $115 pretty quickly, meaning that same earnings day. And $115 is where I would take one off or maybe both off and do it for a 100% return. No questions asked. It's, it's pretty, for me, it's a pretty easy decision on what I would do. 
and why I would put it in play. Any questions in regards to these two particular opportunities that I'm seeing? Any questions that you'd say, hey, I'm already in it, or hey, is it going to be a new one? Kevin, what if you are already in the position? <laughs> As I said, we added to it already. So if, if, if you're already in the position, you can add to it, meaning buy deal. Visa, um, I do have most people in there, but if you have your own account, Lance, and I know you do your own trading, add to it as well. Just add to it and go with some more. We're playing the trend, yet giving us time to dollar cost average right out of the gates. And if I can go ahead and just make a couple comments here to make it simple. You can own Visa for $170 today. $170 per share, right? So if I took $170.84 times 100 for $17,084, you can own 100 shares of Visa. Or for $750, you can own a leap long call that will control 100 shares of Visa out for a year, giving Visa a year to get up to 200. Difference, let me get my calculator up again, 725 divided by 1784. For 4.2% of the stock price, you can control 100 shares for a year and two months, basically 15 months almost. Well, are you going to add long puts? No, we've already lowered the risk down to low single, single digits. That's the beauty of leap long calls. I might add a protective put on after earnings. If they miss on earnings and go down to 165, Next stop is probably 155 to 150. So I would add them after the fact. But your protection in a leap long call position is the leap long call itself. If you were to take stock ownership, and it's amazing we get to have this discussion again. I'm gonna give it to you there, uh, Lance. If you were to take stock ownership, $170.84.86 and went out to December to protect it through this earnings and let's see, for 60 days, right? At 170, it would cost you 545 and you're not protecting 86 cents. So 545 86 cents, six dollars in what? Six dollars in let's get the calculator again. 545 plus 0.84 in all reality, it's cause couple. Six dollars and thirty cents. For 95 more cents, you're basically having a run at it for well, not basically, I will tell you, for well, where did I go out to? I think I'd remember it, right? You'd have a protection in going out to January 2021. So taking a quick look at that, because I don't think I put it on my list here. January 2021, you get that same almost long put protection for 451 days. 
So, would I create a strangle or strangle with it? No, I wouldn't. But I would be out there for that period of time on a leap long call position. Um, trade time. You said June 20 to 30 call. Now we're 31. So what are you telling me here, Ida? Um, you could do a 230 call. I would not do 230, though. The reason why I wouldn't do 230 is because it's way above its, uh, its resistance level there at 200. So this is something I'd be looking to get out of at that time. It looks like another trade has come up. In which case, I would assume you're probably losing a little bit right now. And it's a hard decision to make. It's hard to come up with how far out in time you go and how cheap you're trying to do it. So I would maybe dollar cost average that trade a June 20, 230. But as soon as it gets up to that 190 level, I take you know some off. And then at 200, I try to take everything off. So, stop doing sim trades. <laughs> go, uh, go to some real trades. And again, it just sounds like, and it was put on in July. Where was it trading in July? June, July, yeah, it was up there. Um, it's really easy for me to pick on a, another trade. Um, 230, though, was so far above a round resistance level at 200 and so far above Fibonacci levels that it, it just doesn't seem like that would have been a smart trade to place. Um, just a little too high. I was going to look for, where's your Fibonacci's at? They don't have Fibonacci's in here. What's the other one? Fibonacci's or, um, Elliott waves. Where's your Elliott waves? They don't have Elliott waves in here either. Kellers, hmm. Elliot Channels. Hmm. <laughs> um, it just seems like it would would have been too far. Again, an Elliott wave or a Fibonacci, and you'd see it, it. You know, it'd be probably to do an Elliott wave. It'd be outside of its two wave possibilities or your two standard deviations. I mean, that really your break even. Even though I know it just has to move that way. At 180, 230, 50, you're looking at like a 33% move. And you're you're giving up your, you know, your standard deviations, your what's 11 .2, 16.668, 26.66, 31. So just uh just thinking out loud here on on a couple things. But it is one you could dollar cost average. Uh, any other questions you guys have that I can answer for you? If not, look forward to uh, Thursday morning with you. 
I might be stopped. I might be listening to Keeve. I might participate from the car. Guys, go enjoy the World Series. I will get this posted immediately. A visa. Where's visa, visa, visa? A visa, January 21st, 200. Leap long call. A cheap out of the money. Baidu. Leap long call. Those are two trades I have for today. I think we're all real people trying to make some real money in today's stock market. Go out and look for them and get them done. You guys have a good evening. Bye-bye.